What's up, beautiful people? It's Pope with Stock Doctor Trading. I'm telling you guys, Meta is down, but it is not out. Zuckerberg is down, but he is not out. Now, I want to clarify, I hate Facebook. Let's preface this whole thing. I've always disliked Facebook, but I'm a web developer and have been for 15 years as long as the other stuff that I do. And um, right now you're going to see all throughout the news, everyone talking about what happened to Facebook. All right, we're going to see some crazy fire. We're going to see burning thumbnails. Everybody here, this you can get all your data about what happened to Facebook. It's down heavily after missing earnings, all right? But anyone who's surprised by this at all or thinks that this is the moment when you could say that Meta is over, Facebook is done. Guys, Facebook was done five years ago, all right? This is what, tech, all right, so financial advisors, stock people, you know, your YouTube, you know, stock gurus aren't going to know anything about this, but I've built a, probably about 150 different apps for Facebook over my life. And Facebook was done a long time ago. All right. Anybody who was a developer um, would have known that that the platform itself was just maturing too fast. And when it does that, you see usability go down. Usability has been going down for a long time. Um, international growth is what created the increased users over time, but the more mature users were um, falling back on that. All right, so I'm the last person that you would ever expect to be a Facebook fanboy, but I'm also usually ahead of my time when it comes to tech culture and how it rolls in or rolls out. I'll be honest, I was done with Facebook you know, a lot, you know, 10 years ago, basically, even though it was really about four years now, I say five, but about four years now, it's really been dying over the past year or two. It's been fully, fully dying. So all you hear is Facebook's dead. Zuckerberg's gone. I don't think anyone actually it needs to be gone and everything. I don't think anyone actually understands what he's doing. He will literally build the future of everything we say. And I'm going to make my points very quick. Okay. Um, Anybody who's growing technology in this day and age is going to be wanting to grow technology that gives their customers a strong trigger into their limbic system. Limbic's that system that experiences the experiential, um, the, the, the physics of an experience um, come through uh, within the limbic system. And you're going to be wanting to do a business that triggers a human's limbic system. This is um, a well-documented case study on, on kind of the future where tech is going and nothing does that more than vr and ar now it, a lot of people are making fun of the vr chat which is one app um it's just one app um in in the meta but he's making the oculus lift rift and you can literally play skyrim with that you can play fallout 4 with it you can play all 3ds with a um, emulator with those goggles so the the virtual reality w world is going to be much bigger than the VR chat thing, which is one of the apps on the quest uh, that Facebook made. And it's lame. And that's all these stock people are, are going through. I'm not going to waste my time. You're going to be seeing this all day today. It's everybody is going to be knocking on this. And honestly, they all sound like old men. Some of these are 30 year old people, but they already sound like they're extremely old. Like this metaphor is done. It's stupid. The people don't have legs. Let me tell you, I'm not telling you to buy this dip on Facebook right now. It has come down a lot. It will retrace up, obviously, a little bit, and then probably stay in this range for another quarter or so. And what you want to know, if, you know, a quarter. We'll talk about it, whether or not the time frame it is. But we're going to be in this range for Facebook for a while. But what I know is that if I was put in charge of building the uh, metaverse or basically virtual reality as a whole, implementing it to a society, rolling it out into a culture, and understanding that process, Mark Zuckerberg understands that process perfectly. I think it would be a chess game, and that chess game would take having to do a couple things that were going to make your business lose a lot of money up front in order to roll it out to it. And he went on the Joe Rogan podcast, and it was the first time we ever got to see some real humanity out of Zuckerberg. And what I saw was the future. We will all be in the metaverse. We will all have it. It won't be those big, heavy goggles. It'll be glasses that you can see through, and they also clear out so you can go into a full VR experience. But 
another way to look at it is Zuckerberg is going to own everybody's eyes pretty soon. And he was never a guy that really wanted to get into the advertising part of Facebook. It's like he made Facebook and then they needed to make Facebook become a viable business. And the way to do that was become an advertising platform. They developed one of the most innovative like ways to focus in on your clients in an advertising case that you've ever seen. Now, their problem with advertising for Facebook is there was no return on investment for advertisers. It was good for brand recognition and to get your name out there, but not a lot of ROI, not a lot of conversions that would happen in Facebook. And this is coming from somebody who studied those analytics and, and, and knows them from my different clients as well as my own businesses. Um, Facebook was never a great place to advertise. If you're running the company and you know that, you know that the entire world is pushing you as a stock and a fiduciary responsibility to your shareholders to, to make a lot of money, that's actually never Zuck's passion to begin with. That wasn't what he was into. And the difference between me and Mark Zuckerberg in this virtual reality metaverse is that he has billions and billions of dollars more to still create this thing and i definitely think he will do it i without a doubt think he will do it i will be long run five ten years super super bullish on meta what we have is a re recessionary inflationary federationary um downward climate conditions going on right now recessionary activity is definitely pulls back on advertising in the early stages until you get to the low areas where advertising is the only way you can reach any of your clients at all and we haven't gotten to that stage yet, so you're seeing huge pullbacks. But what you have to understand is that people for the past three to four years now have been completely overvaluing Facebook and Meta for what it was as a platform. It was dead. It was dead. It was being overvalued. So just because the market cap came down doesn't mean they don't have plenty of money to make this thing happen. And yeah, it would take a little bit of cash up front, but I am telling you, in five years, this man this man that everyone is laughing at right now and they all sound like dinosaurs making fun of the metaverse because it's got people with no legs in it right now they really really are going to sound very very stupid so that's actually the main reason i'm making that point right now in this video is because like these guys are going to laugh at themselves when they look back and say that this is all the end because the stock went down they really they're not understanding tech and they're not even really understanding market cap as a whole, like, and, and what its purpose is and, and, and how it serves things. Um, they're making fun. I saw somebody say that they're like, oh, you know, somebody is going to invest in uh, Guayana, make them a top 15 oil refinery, and they're going to do it for half the amount of money that Mark Zuckerberg spent on his website. It's such a disrespectful thing to say. I don't even like Zuckerberg. I don't even like Facebook. I don't even like Meta, but you guys are so wrong. You guys are so wrong about that. And he, you know, Zuckerberg didn't sell a product before, but now they're they're rolling out distributing and creating an actual thing, which is the Quest. And they just rolled out the Quest 3. People are gonna say, $1,500, nobody's gonna buy it. Nobody's gonna do this. So you can go to the VR chat and Play on somebody's i mean video games are going to use these things everybody who plays video games are going to use them so if you don't think that that the, the that's going to blow up that's crazy but the point is you have to understand that this oculus quest 3 the one that just rolled out was made for developers so they can develop within the platform it's not the type of thing that is ever really expected to be a commercial users comp you know that will come out soon or you can buy the oculus quest itself but this is for developers, and he's doing this the right way. And if you watch the Joe Rogan podcast, you'll understand, at least if you're a tech guy, that he has the right plan, and he has billions of dollars to pull it off. So don't listen to all those crazy people that say this thing is done. They sound like dinosaurs today. And just under, he had, he had a bad earnings report. You know, who isn't having bad earnings reports? Amazon's in a lot more trouble, if you ask me. Because they are much more a distribution business than a tech business at this stage. And so they have real physical brick and mortar issues to deal with. So listen, I, I'm seeing this is like the number one search on YouTube right now in terms of analytics. I got to get something out there about it. But I don't like the take that everybody has. I think their take is all wrong. All right. So those are my thoughts. Beautiful people. We'll catch up soon. Rock on. Peace. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Yes. For the record, you ain't trying
truck road and it's done for you For the record, lab on me going all the way For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste For the record, 